Now I'm going to talk about Beetle and Bean. Beetle and Bean, I, I get the impression that some people don't like. I, I haven't heard the best things about it. I sort of like it, it, and this is another one that grew on me. At first I'm like, so he's a bean and that guy's like a magnet something? Like, I was like, I don't, this seems just like too far out there in the Cartoon Network you know? Like, Trick Moon felt like the good balance, like, felt sort of digestible and well, in a way, you know, with all that. Beetle and Bean felt like, you know, an art school kid, like, making weird designs in a strange comic who smokes too much weed or something. And I was like, hey, I'm here for you. I like weirder designs sometimes, especially for something like this. And at first I was very turned off by it. But it sort of won me over when you have this Bean who wants to be a famous knight and this whole kind of, like, uh, dual thing he's going to do with the famous knight um, sort of won me over towards the end and it's sort of weird and experimental it's stranger I could see this being a cult animated show for like you know the cartoon community people who haven't made videos yet who are like 14 right now I can totally see them in five years making videos on Beetle and Bean and being like it was weird it was strange it made me feel things the first time I was high it was on Cartoon Network I can see that happening with this show and, and it does sort of win you over and it's sort of strange this I can totally see them not doing much with this. I think it is played at various uh, animation kids festivals, actually. So it seems like they're trying to find new life, at least for this thing, because it seems like, you know, it is a promising animated thing. I get if people think it's ugly and so forth, but I sort of like its different style to it. It did feel very like Trick Moon. It feels very post-Adventure Time, post-Mamo. It feels like you can play right on Cartoon Network in that similar vibe. It did feel like it was way off into the extremes, you know? Maybe it's a little more crazier Midnight Gospel, at least in design now, in terms of theory, than Adventure Time. I did like kind of most of its kind of weird CNness. I like that its music felt like a Mario game. It felt very much like video game sort of music. It seemed pretty cool. This was created by Nick Edwards, who was a writer on uh, Over the Garden Wall, and uh, Apple and Onion. It seems the one that got the least amount of views. Um, it seems to have the least passion behind it, but I don't I don't want to write it off. I think there's like actually something here for this. I think watching this show go off and it's kind of weird strainness could actually be kind of cool. And I kind of am a little more excited by Beetle and Bean and I think its possibility is sort of interesting because it kind of showed like you never, you really don't know what kind of creature is coming out. I don't know what creature Be Beetle is. I don't know, really understand like Bean came to Earth somehow or something. It's such a weird idea, but it's sort of like, it's also written as like a comfort kind of Wee Bear Bears type of show. It's not written like a weird, strange, odd show, but it is a weird, strange, odd show, which kind of makes it even more appealing in a way. It's... It's an interesting little odd short. I'm a little, like, I don't know if this is Nick Edwards' big hit show, but I'm kind of interested in his potential as a creator, and I'm interested in where the show could actually go. I think this could be kind of cool. Like, we don't get enough, like, weird experimental kid shows to this point, but I do feel like it's like, if this is, gets, this is, like, as far as you can push the Adventure Time Mau Mau thing until it, like, hits kind of a wall, basically. Like, this is as far as you can push it, and then someone's going to go, okay, that's as far as we push that style, probably. But I had an enjoyment in pushing that style to the absolute wall, so I'm kind of cool with Beetle and Bean. Probably cooler than you expect me to be, but I sort of like it when animation gets weirder and stranger. I'm a 12-ounce mouse fan, so I, maybe I'm more inclined to like something like Beetle and Bean, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, all right, 